<clears throat> Hello, and welcome to this podcast. Again, this will be, once again, you will be getting this tomorrow. I keep saying to myself, like, that I should stop doing this, but I fucking, like, I never can think of, like, a topic to think about. And then I'm like, by Sunday, I'll think of it, because I should be doing them on Sunday, but I'm doing this one on Monday. So you're going to get this tomorrow. So sorry about that. Um, I also, I, yeah, I don't, whatever. Okay. I wanted to talk about the concept of envy and jealousy or whatever, and just like my take on it and my, what I, how I think one should deal with that. And also, yeah, just my take. Also, I was listening to people's podcasts today. I don't actually listen. I listen to like, I know people don't like Joe Rogan, but honest to God, like, it, I think it's very close-minded not to like him. Um, like, sure, maybe you've seen the clip and uh, you're, like, jumping on a bandwagon or something. But, like, he, the guy has, like, uh, like three hours discussions with, like, politicians and, like, Neil deGrasse Tyson and some of the most amazing thinkers in the world. So to say that you hate the whole podcast is kind of like throwing a baby out with the bathwater to me. Because it's – he has so – such great – you you have you have access to such some of the most interesting conversations in the world, um, so maybe you don't agree with like everything he says, but I I would this isn't gonna be like a Joe Rogan like fucking like tribute, but um, a lot of the times I've gotten hate for liking Joe Rogan. They call him like a transphobe and racist and stuff, and that's just not true. Um, and I can just tell they've never seen his podcast. They probably just like are on some bandwagon that they've subscribed to mentally of an idea of what they should hate and they don't even know it um but so that's what I what I was saying is that's like the podcast that I do listen to is I probably mostly is Joe Rogan's um but I don't actually listen to podcasts of like girls like my age or like kind of similar podcasts to this format and I was listening to some this week um of just like other people's podcasts I found, like people I didn't even know, stuff like that. And they go, they have such long tangents of like what they did that week. And like, I've always known that's like a, like a form of content. Like people always wanted, have always wanted me to vlog and have always wanted me to do this or that or whatever. And I just never, like it never struck me as something meaningful. Um, I was like, that seems kind of, I'm not saying these people are narcissistic at all. I don't even believe that, to be honest. But it always felt if I was going to do it. I'm like, who the fuck cares what I'm going to be doing like my daily life? And I know, I know that's a form of content. And I know that because I, I've seen videos like that and I enjoy them. So I get it. It's like this weird, conflicting, um, like, hy like hy uh, hypocritical thing in my head. It, it doesn't make any sense. Um, so that's kind of why I've always restrained from like, Obviously, I share things about myself and I share things in my head, but I, I share what I feel like would help, not like what I did this week, even though I feel like maybe you guys would want to hear it. I don't know. I don't, I've always just been like apprehensive to do that because I just found it meaningless or I just found it pointless or I don't know what the right word is for what I find it. But um, yeah. I guess my point to this whole fucking spiel is I'm going to try a little bit to, to do that without, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm so on the fence. I don't want to do it. It's like some, I just feel like it's pointless, whatever. I'm going to share a little of my week and see how I feel. And if I feel kind of cringe, then I'm not going to do it again. So I also have a theory. Tell me if you think that this, I've always had this theory. I've always had this theory that people do not, I don't, this, whatever. I've, I'm so fucking like judgmental of everything I, everything I say. Every time I'm about to say something, something in my voice, like mo something in my head, like monitors everything. And it's just like in the worst possible way. I'm sure that's not unique. But anyways, I have this theory that people don't take me seriously unless I look less presentable I swear to god like if I came here in like a, like a cute little baby doll dress people are gonna be like this girl's fucking stupid but if I came here with like no makeup on and like a big t-shirt and like was really chilled 
outfit wise, people will be like, okay, this girl has more credibility. I swear to fucking God, that's a thing. I swear to God, I'm gonna, okay, for instance, do I look now more like a girl that knows what she's talking about? I do, don't I? I feel like people like judge so much what I look like on TikTok and stuff. And I'm probably not alone in this. I think that's just how the world works. But I, I feel like I get that a lot. People have this like fixed idea of what they think that I am just based on the fact that I like clothes and stuff and like like to like dress super girly. And I swear to God, my the way I'm perceived changes so much based on how like chill I'm dressing. Um, yeah, because it's like they can't, they can't, like, I don't know. This is a theory. Tell me if you agree. Maybe you guys don't, but I have a theory that that's a real thing, that people just don't, they're not gonna take you seriously if you look like a cute little girl or something. I'm taking this off because it's really fucking hot. But um, this is a theory, I swear. Maybe I'm just self-conscious, but um, because I've, I feel like for the most part, just I don't think anyone's alone in this, but if you're a person online and you don't really sh talk and share your personality, which I didn't do for a really long time, I'd go on live streams and stuff when I was like 17. And like, that's kind of it. But um, people have like a fixed idea of what you're gonna be like, or think you're like, I see people think people are mean a lot. Um, or yeah, I don't know. People just think, they just have an idea of what they think you're gonna be what I'm gonna be, and that's it. You can't rewrite their idea because it's just fixed in their head. Um, so I urge you to open your mind to the fact that you might not have everybody figured out um, and I'm not here to say that you do. Actually, I feel like the people in this community of this podcast are quite lovely and quite nice and quite understanding. And the people, the like the times I get like replies on Twitter and like DMs that you guys like this podcast, it like genuinely makes me so happy and, and brings me to tears sometimes because I'm such a fucking pussy. But um, so I don't think it's necessarily you guys, but um, I would say people in general for sure. And yeah. And I only know that because it's just happened to me my whole life of like people will always just think that they, and I'm probably not alone, but like they think that they just know everything about you, you know? So yeah, that's just my, my take. Um, I tweeted a while ago. Tell me if you guys agree. This isn't what the podcast is going to be about, but I guess I'm going in like 10 tangents, but um, I tweeted a while ago. Does anyone feel like their outside personality, I mean, their outside appearance matches their personality? I think part of the part of uh, the symptoms of my dissociation have always been I felt a disconnect to what I look like, always. I've just always been like that. I remember when I was young looking in the mirror, um, being like, that's you? Just like disconnected, not, not anything to do with the appearance, just disconnected from it in totality. Um, and I've tried really hard to connect the two and kind of like merge my spirit, soul, internal, whatever to my physical shell. But I don't know, I've always had a disconnect with what I look like. I just always have. And I don't know if, yeah, I just always have. Um, and I'm curious if anyone else feels the same way. I just don't feel like they match and um, yeah, not to say like they have to match. What is that? What does that even mean? You know, but I just don't, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Um, like, I feel like I should be a lot like cooler and like, like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know how to explain it. Um, but anyways, continuing on this podcast, the reason I want to talk about envy, um, and I also want to put the definition of envy. I think it's important to know exactly what it is. I think people mis misinterpret it. Because I remember I did a podcast with Iris um, and we talked a little bit about nepotism and stuff like that. And I said in the podcast, I was like, well, they're envious of you because she, this girl was getting so much, she, Iris is like the sweetest girl ever. She was getting so much hate um, because her, her dad is like a famous director and her mom's a famous actress. And, um, and she's just like a, innocent person brought into the world. Like she didn't decide any of this. She didn't control, she didn't know what was going on. She just was brought into the world. I see her more as a human um, rather than someone to tear down because they have more. And I said in the podcast, I'm like, cause she would get so much hate 
over and over and over. I always said, well, they're envious of you. And I read some of the comments and some of the comments were like, how dare she say just because uh, that we're envious of her uh, da, 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 and had this whole argument of why that's not true. And I, I was just reading that. And I'm like, well, you guys are wrong. You what has she done to you? Like, has she oppressed you in some way? Like, I, I, I could not understand it. Um, of why you could hate someone that didn't do anything to you, that has not treated anyone poorly and has lived her life like morally correct. How could you hate someone like that? That is envy. And so I literally, after that podcast, was Google the definition of envy. I wanted to make sure I was in check. I was like, maybe I have it wrong. Maybe, maybe they are right. But this is the definition of envy. A feeling of discontent or resentful longing aroused by someone else's possessions, quality, or luck. If that's not people getting mad at nepotism babies, I don't know what, a, what is. Um, I've defended nepotism in some ways and I've gone against it in some ways. I'm not, I don't feel oppressed by it. Um, it because it's just some, it's just part of the system. It's just part of how the, like the hierarchy of the world is. It's just like, you can't really, have everything be fair in life. It's just not how it works. If it, if that was like a thing, I don't even, we would be in a much different, I don't even, that would be so boring. Would it be good? I don't even know. I can't, my, my small mind can't even wrap my head around the idea of it being like a completely fair, like whatever. Like that doesn't exist um, is my point. So, my way of dealing with envy is, and take it, okay, <laughs> like I am surrounded by people. I think there's two, sorry, I think there's two ways that you can deal with people that have more than you, that you can deal with people that are better than you, that are smarter than you, that are more successful than you. You can be envious, you become resentful, which is literally what it, the definition describes. Um, or you can, learn from them. Obviously, what am I, what am I going to learn from people that just have an unfair advantage? Like someone like in powerful families, like they didn't really do anything. So you, how can you like learn to have a silver spoon or how can you learn to have suddenly a lot of money? You know, like, it, like things like that doesn't, don't quite make sense. But I more so mean like the people that win, like the people that have strive for it more. That's a thing is like people, people often get angry or mad at the people who like win or whatever. And they feel oppressed by the people that win. But the truth is, is, is they just strive for it harder. Again, I know that there's like the nepotism thing. That's whatever. I'm so fucking over talking about nepotism. Like seriously, like I get, it's a thing. Like it, we just need to get over it at this point. Um, it's just such a weird like topic that is so in the forefront. People just like, I think, I don't know. Being like in the mix of the people that are Nepo babies, I obviously see them as human beings. So I'm not like, I'm not like here to destroy them. Like I, I, people are just so mad that they have an unfair advantage that they will not allow the people with unfair advantages to be not have that be like a scarlet A on them is kind of what I see. And I like, it's just kind of this like vicious thing of people that are jealous and whatever. And if you guys disagree with me, that's fine. I'm just trying to like, I think it's more interesting to be a reasonable person rather than someone who lives their life through the lens of their own ego and agenda. Um, I could totally be a unreasonable person and fucking hate all the girls that I'm friends with. I could just have this burning hatred, this like anger in my heart of like, I want to, I want to beat them. I want to, but like, come on. Like, is that really who you want to be? Is that the life that you want to live? You want to be like a resentful per like, just, it's so lame. It's so lame to hate other people that have more than you. I, for, I feel so bad for, and no one's, this is the thing is no one's going to pity her because she is more. And that's kind of the point. I was going to say, I feel so bad for people like Kendall Jenner. Um, because that girl cannot do a goddamn thing. Can't do a thing without people. She can't walk down the street without people saying something ne negative about her. And people want to call her a mean girl and this and that. And like, they don't have any proof of that. They just want her so bad to be bad. So they have an excuse to hate her. Um, and she's a very nice girl. Like she, she really is. And, and she just has a shit ton of stuff. 
and people will not let that slide because she is more. It's just, I don't know, I just see this a lot, this common theme of, of people having no empathy for people of more. And I'm not here to say that you have to do that. Like, I'm not here to say, because I, I get that you're not going to want to do that. You're, you're whatever. My, my point to this podcast and why I want to bring up this topic is because I want to, my, my, my whole purpose of my podcast is to to teach things that I've learned and hopefully change someone's way of thinking or to help somebody be similar or like adopt thing adapt ad, like adopt qualities that have helped me in my life and there are certain things that have and and I want to share them I, I don't want I don't feel like a need to gatekeep to whatever. Um, I just, I don't know. I've always been someone that wants to share what helps me. I've had a blog for like six years, like for like six years, like a long time. This is just part of who I am. I've noticed. Um, so my thing with envy and my thing with people that more, and I, I'm not like this thing. Oh my God. Did you see that? The fucking power went out. Um, well, luckily my computer's still going, but, um, I'm not like, a person that's not susceptible to be jealous or envious. I am. And like, that's why I want to talk about it. And so my way of dealing with people that have more than me um, is I just use them for inspiration. I just use them as kind of, as kind of this like, like carrot, like dangling in front of me of, of how I want to be more, like and some people like I yeah I think there's two ways of going about it you can either hate them for no reason and find some reason you can justify in your mind or you could try to learn how they're like that and try to have them teach you something and try to become more like that there's two ways you can be smart or you can be dumb like that's how I look at it and I don't mean to be crass in that way but I I I'm saying those words to prove a point here, which is that there's no benefit to being resentful. There's no benefit. If you guys have a benefit for hating Kendall Jenner, besides like a weird like thing that makes you feel better, which is pathetic, um, please tell me in the comments. I'm curious because I've never seen a benefit to that. I've seen a benefit to, to seeing what they have, trying to em emulate it and putting it within yourself, having it be... A, a fire in you or having someone to look at as a role model or something you want to strive toward. I've kind of talked about similar themes throughout my podcast, throughout episodes of like the girl in elementary school that was like the perfect girl that I just wanted to be like. Um, and I was so jealous at that time. I was, I didn't even know, I didn't even know how to deal with it. And like, I was just like, I just wanted to be like her so bad. She was like perfect in every way. Um, but I like, and I used it to inspire me. I wanted to be like that. There's the expression, if you can't be them, join them, right? Which is essentially kind of what I'm saying, which is if you can't <laughs> beat them, learn from them, join them, which is to not fight against someone that will win, rather take what you can and that's it. I'm not a very jealous person and I definitely can get jealous, but not really, to be honest. And I, I think that, and, and people have so much more than me. Like I'm surrounded by people that have like everything I want or, and they got it without working for it. It's like, or they have like the perfect family or they're fucking like, just like, I'm surrounded by it and then you guys watch it so it's it's I get it I get the whole thing I have felt what you've felt and my point is it's pointless it's pointless to feel that and I you probably go I, I know like but I can't help it try to change your perspective that's something you have to control over is changing your perspective you it's it's the first stepping stones of changing who you are is changing how you look at things. And I've always said that. I find that kind of the easiest way to go through my life and to grow is to change 
just my perspective on it. There are certain people in life that will win and they don't deserve it and they're bad people. I see them all the time. I see some of the most famous, like, well-respected and well-admired people out there. They suck and people don't even know. And I, like, keep it to myself. I'm not going to fuck. I'm not here to expose people. I don't care. But some of, like, the coolest, like, nicest, like, YouTubers and stuff are, like, kind of the biggest bitches ever. Or just the coldest people are just, like, not nice. But they are the most successful people in the world. One could spend their whole life having that feeling in them, that anger. Or... You can not have that. I'd much rather do that. I have two options here. I'm going to pick the one where my life is better. Aren't I? Why the fuck would I pick the other one? Do you want to have an ugly, resentful person, angry monster in you your whole life? That sounds fucking brutal. Sounds fucking brutal. There's certain things that are fixed, you know, in life. And I get that. I'm not here to say, like, life, again, is fair or whatever and, and... Who am I to complain? Shit like that. Like, I get it. I'm not, like, naive or ignorant to all of that. And, But again, like, I, I can only speak on my life experiences. And, and, yeah. In my life, I strive to be a reasonable person. I think I am pretty reasonable, to be honest. Um, I'm very willing to have my mind changed. Which is why I urge you, if you have a very compelling argument against what I'm saying, to leave it in the comments. I don't know if I'll be swayed, but I'm, I, again, like I, I'm willing in the face of new information and data to allow my mind to change. I truly am. And I hope you guys would be the same. I think that's what you should strive for is to having some reason and logic in your head and not being solely based on all of these emotions internally and insecurity. I'm so fucking insecure, dude. It's insane. It's insane. And I hate myself like so much. That's actually probably like the biggest thing for me is like how much I hate myself. Like even this week, this week, for instance, I guess this, that's another topic I want to talk about. I want to talk about in another episode how normal it is to cry. Um, so maybe that's my next solo episode. But this week, I've been so like hard on myself and I just like hate everything about myself. I just hate it all and every like, it's just, and then I go to my apartment and I'm by myself and I have no one to really talk to about how I feel and I'll cry in my room. I, I, I think about how much and how much I wish I had like a family, like, like a strong unit I could go to, you know? And then, like, that's an envious part about me. I have, my best friends get to drive to their parents' house and just, like, sit and gossip with their moms, you know? Like, that's life. Like, life is unfair. And I would love to not have the pain that I have. And I would love to not have, like, these voids of, of like, fulfillment, you know, like I, I would have been a completely different person if I had like all the things that I was supposed to. And I am envious of the ones that do. And, and I see how they feel about themselves and they love themselves and they think that they can do anything. I wasn't a kid that felt that way. And that probably is largely to do based on how I was raised and based with all the like voids in my life. You know, and I grew up thinking that I sucked and I wouldn't ever amount to anything. And then I look at all these people that just never had to feel that way. They never had to feel like so pathetic and they never had to feel like, I don't know. I, I don't know. I get it. Like it's, and I'm, they have things that they like are envious of too. It's just life is my point. And to, to have it make you consistently angry over and over again is a waste of your time. What you focus on becomes your life. If you're focused on so much on other people's success and wanting to tear them down, 
I have some bad news for you. You, the, what a waste of a life. And it's so common. It's so common. Especially now with like the anonymous factor of Twitter and, and TikTok, you can be anyone online and you can say anything and tear anybody down. I'm sure there's people watching this that like fucking hate me, like honest to God, because I, I, I see that to some level, you know, I see, I get so much, I've gotten so much hate on TikTok, um, for things I didn't even do. And that was actually a, a conclusion I had to come to this year. I've never even considered the fact that there's going to be people and not, it's not just me. It's, I'm sure there's people in your, your, even you or your like community or whatever of friends like this is just this is just how life works is people no matter what are always some people are always gonna hate me you know that's just true and I and I didn't as a people pleaser and as someone that wanted everyone to like me and it, it really bothered me when someone didn't and like before I was on the internet and anything like that it, I needed everyone to like me like it was like I was like gonna die if like someone didn't like me so when I like joined the internet and like when I started especially like when I started to get like more hate on the internet I couldn't get why and I had this obsessive need to like prove myself and prove my character and like prove all of these things and then like my friends were the ones that were just like people are just not going to like you that's it and it has nothing to do with you and then I and it was just like this ignorance to it to be honest. And that's why I've kind of become so fixated on the, on the aspect of envy. And I pity those. I pity the ones that like ha feel the need to tear me down because I didn't do anything. And then I think to my head, I think in my head, I'm like, if these people met me in person, we'd probably be friends. But it, it's just because they, they like, I don't know. They just want to hate you for whatever reason. It's like why people want to hate Kendall Jenner for whatever reason. So I, 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 have seen my experience and I empathize with others. And it's not just me. You don't even have to be on the internet to experience this. There's like certain friends of yours, I'm sure, that just don't like you. Or like, it's just how it is. Or maybe, maybe you're the one that doesn't like one of your friends. You know, it's just how life goes. Um, and it's just real. Like, that's just me being fucking honest. I, I don't see the problem in being completely honest and transparent with, with what's going on in my head. You probably have noticed that. <laughs> I probably overshare a lot um, and like word vomit shit, but I just kind of like, whatever. Like, it's just like, why have a podcast if I'm not gonna say how I feel and say my true ex like expression in my head, what's the point? Um, and I'm fine with talking about like taboo topics and things like that. I just am just like, whatever. It's like free, like it's just, it's life. It's real. Like it's just what it is. Um, look at envy differently is what I urge you to do. Don't be an unreasonable person. I feel like my, I've woken up a little bit to, to kind of this aspect of the world of this aspect of just like, yeah, people are, are very competitive too. And I wasn't a very highly competitive person. If you watch this podcast, you know, it's taken me a really long time to want to be competitive. I'm still not even quite there to be honest, but that's the thing. It's like, I, I'm now aware that people like look at me in a competitive way. I wasn't looking at them in a competitive way. I didn't even care to win. And I still don't really care to win. And that's something I need to work on. I need to want to win. I need to want to win. I always want to get better, but I never, I never cared to win. But the thing is, is, is that people do. <laughs> and I was so fucking ignorant to that. I saw something on TikTok that I like. This might just help. This is like a side tangent to it. But her, like, this girl was saying, you probably have seen it. And it kind of went viral. She was like, I was at my psychiatrist's office and she kind of gave it like the 10, the 80, 20 rule. 80% of like 20% of people are always going to not like you period. That's just how it is. It's just life. And it doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter who you are. 20% of people are always going to hate you. Never going to see who, you for whatever. So next time you get hate or next time someone doesn't like you or whatever, they're just in that 20%. It kind of takes the pressure off of like, it's not you. It's just people are just not going to like you. I don't know. It helps me with my people pleasing because for a really long time, 
that I could not let that go. And now I don't really care. Now I've, I've surrendered to the fact um, that the internet's crazy, honestly. The inter internet's crazy. So yeah, 20%. <laughs> like, that's just how it is. I really wanna use my life and the pain in my life and the voids and the gaps and the this. I wanna use it for good. I wanna use it to make me a better person, to catch up with everybody. I wanna catch up. I feel like I'm behind in a lot of ways, like mentally. Like I, I know I have like problems I need to figure out. I'm so fucking dissociated. And I have all of these fucking issues that I need, like, to, like and I, I'm not alone. This is fucking life. And I feel like I need to catch up. Like I really feel that way. So I'm not going to use all the people that have more and let it put me down further into this hole. I'm not gonna do that. And that's kind of why I'm making this. I don't want you to do that either. Be smart. Don't be dumb. Don't have envy and jealousy be such a primary emotion in you. Look at it in a different way. Look at the girl that has more than you and try to figure out how to be like her. There's so many girls that are like so much fucking smarter than me, have such better habits than me. I like, like, seriously. Or just like had help or just like are like those people that just fucking can figure it all out and like have these amazing work ethics and whatever. Like I was not like that. I am not like that. But I want to be like that. And I look at these fucking girls that are just so smart, that have like all these amazing, like just inspiring girls. And some of them fucking are mean. And I look at them and I'm just like, fuck you. Like seriously, fuck you. But I'm gonna learn from them. I wanna be like them. Not the mean parts, not the shitty parts, but I'm gonna take where inspiration where I can. I always try to do that. And I urge you to do the same. Just like, Take the shitty parts of life and try to make them a good thing for yourself. That's kind of my point. Life sucks. Life sucks. Life's unfair. Everyone's always gonna, there's always gonna be people that have more than you and that are better than you or cooler than you or prettier than you. It's just like how it goes and it fucking sucks. It's just how it goes. No one is set, like no one is free from this kind of maze and this trap. No one is. But... However, I'm sure as hell going to have in my mind, what is she doing? I wonder what she's doing. I wonder how much she gets up and goes, gets up in the morning. Like, what time does she wake up? What time? Like, just something. It's not like an obsession, but think about it. Think about you. Think about what you do. Think about what other people do. And try to use that as a engine to to disgust yourself. I guess it all comes down to me hating myself, but yeah, compare yourself. I know that's kind of fucked and everyone kind of already does do that, but I, to a little bit, I think that's fine. And just a, just as a, as a like vision board person, you know, of like the whole manifesting thing, have them on your vision board. If you can't beat them, you know, have them inspire you, take inspiration. That's my two cents. That's the way I deal with this. Because no one's, like, again, like, no one isn't going to face this problem. So just deal with it in a better way than you are right now. Maybe you already deal with it in a really healthy way. I don't know. I just see a lot of people that don't and just want to, like, tear people down. And they use, they, they use this kind of, like, instant gratification way of making themselves feel better. When you can actually use it in a much more beneficial way for yourself and then long term make yourself feel better. Make yourself better in general, you know? I look at it as being smart or stupid, to be honest. You can be stupid and resentful, or you can be smart and use it as inspiration for yourself. Again, I know that's cross, but I'm pretty cross in my head. I'm pretty just blunt, so that's just how I am. I don't know. These help me. <laughs> Anyways... Thank you.
for watching this podcast. Um, I'm kind of scared to read the comments because anytime I, there's any defense in these things, I get scared. But at the same time, I need to grow up. So I'm just going to take it on the chest. Anyways, thank you for so, so much for watching this podcast. And I will see you next week. And I think you're going to really like the next guest that you will have next Tuesday.